tempo is just watching your hands. Let me lock in real quick because it's it's not an easy thing to do if you're not paying attention. Like me trying to talk to y'all and do this at the same time, bro, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K25, you're here because your jump shot is broken, and I got a way to fix that for y'all in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all already know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all. What are we here to show y'all today? The shot stick, which... Ticino has unveiled. Yes, we know you can shoot the shots with that and you'll be fine. But if you shoot with the shot stick and you can master tempo, which tempo is really just looking at your hand, the speed of the shot, and you can just, you gotta match that. You never wanna miss a shot to bad tempo. When you can get to that point, you'll be good. Look, just learn your tempo, that's it. Tempo is really just trying to match the speed at which the ball is going to leave your hand. Like right there, if your shot is fast, you're gonna have to flick the stick up a little faster than if the shot is slow. If you have a shot with some consistent uh, timing, you may not even have to adhere to this right here, but the reward is this. Take this shot right here, for instance. That's hard to hit, right? But with this, with the shot stick, I'm, I think I'm one step beyond that. You see how I can excellent that? And the main thing I gotta do is just match the tempo. Let's see if I can match the tempo. I don't know if I can. See, boom, I can match the tempo. Bro, I could never dream of hitting a shot from out here with just the, uh, well, that, that wasn't the same place. Maybe I could dream of hitting shots from out here, but with the, with the shot stick, I can do it. And it's a little bit more, it should be more consistent, I guess is what I'm saying. Damn, I almost failed. <laughs> almost failed with it, but it's cool, man. Like this is out of my range. If you can't match the tempo and you can't match your shot, you're probably out of range. So now we take one step in and and we should, you know, we matching the tempo. I just missed time to shot. So learn how to match your tempo first. That's the main thing. And matching tempo is really just looking at your hands and determining the speed of, of the shot. That's it. And it's gonna be easier from different places to see it, I'll tell you that. Uh, but just letting you know, that is the main reward is that the green windows are much bigger and i think i was able to prove my point with how much bigger the green windows are because i can excellent those using this but it's just not going to allow me like they don't want you to be able to cheat and shoot from half court because the green windows are bigger so what's going to happen is you're going to have bad tempo when you're out of range now you can match it but like like i think i want to say i'm out of range right here because i yeah i am a little bit out of range so Right here, boom, you just gotta, like I said, you just gotta match the tempo. And tempo matching is really just fast. Matching the tempo is really just, why am, I, why am I getting? Matching the tempo is just watching your hands. Let me lock in real quick, because it's, it's not an easy thing to do if you're not paying attention. Like me trying to talk to y'all and do this at the same time, bro, it's not the easiest thing in the world. But it's not hard either. And I'm gonna show y'all the proper setup that you need to have in order to do this the right way because some people are probably shooting with the shot stick and the green, the green windows are not bigger for you. And that's because you got your meter on. And that's a fast one. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that in one second, man, uh, because you have to do this in a specific way in order to, to get it right. So boom, first thing you wanna do, Controller settings. You wanna go here. Make sure that you're on high risk, high reward. I'm gonna show you what happens when you put it on normal risk, normal reward. I'm gonna show you what happens. I don't like what happens, but it works. It, it still can work, you can still do it. So anyway, shot meter type. You're gonna say pro stick only. That's what you wanna put that on and take it off the buttons or whatever, you know, for the shots or whatever. Now you're gonna go to my player, animation. Yes, I do understand too that the high risk, high reward, it, 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 it sucks because if you get bad tempo, you're going to miss the shot. But the green window is so much greater 
that you can take your time on the tempo, so it's cool. Shot meter shots. Visibility. Turn the visibility off for shots. So you gotta go to animation, customize hood, turn visibility for shots off. This way, you can get the bonus associated with no meter and you can shoot with the shot stick. Otherwise, you know you might be you might be missing some shots um, because you're gonna be paying attention to the meter. It's hard to not pay attention to the meter. Now, what happens when you turn on, when you go to uh, normal, right? You can hit some slightly on your tempo, but, and you see right there, but the problem is you're gonna miss shots that you shouldn't be missing. Or at least I feel like I should not be missing shots because some of them are gonna say slightly, slightly. And I don't like that. See, that says slightly fast, slightly. And you haven't seen me be slightly, slightly on anything. But I'm gonna shoot all these the exact See, I can hit a slightly, slightly, but, and you can hit some slightly with the tempo, right? But only one of them gotta be off. And this is, this is random. This is as random as it gets. And I don't know when I'm missing shots, I don't know if I'm missing the see that's a slightly slightly. I don't know if I'm missing the shots because the game is making me miss it because that's clearly everything is clearly random over there. So I don't know if I'm missing them because the game is making me miss them or see a slightly slightly. So I'm, I'm very so I, am I doing it because the game is making me miss them or am I doing it because I'm missing them? I don't know. It's 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 really hard to tell. So for me, I prefer high risk, high reward, and we are gonna see. But let me, I'm gonna lock in and concentrate really quickly and just see if I can hit five in a row. I don't think it's possible to hit five in a row on normal. I don't think it is. That's one, that should be good. But see, it says slightly, slightly, well, five greens, let's say it like that. So, and then I'm gonna hit that one and I shot that the exact same way. Shot that one the exact same way and so, like I said, you're just gonna miss, you're just going to miss some shots in this game. But at the same time, I don't like it doing what it's doing, talking about slightly, slightly, when I know that it's not, those aren't slightly, slightly, right? So now what we're going to do to prove my point is we're going to go over here, go to controller settings, and we're gonna change it to and like I said, Brute was right. He was like, if you change that, you're gonna hit some slightly. But I feel like you're gonna miss some shots that you shouldn't miss, that, that, that I don't wanna miss. So that's why I go high risk, high reward on it. But you, you see the power if you do it like that with slightly, slightly. So now we go high risk, high reward. And it's like, I'm gonna miss that one, I already know it. But everything is excellent. This is gonna give you the biggest green window and you can, you can really just nail every shot that you're doing right on. But the problem is, like I said, it's hard to know if the game is randomizing things or if I'm just missing. But you see, I haven't slightly the tempo really at all with this. And I was on that, I was getting slightly, slightly, and this is probably my weakest side of the court. I was getting slightly, slightly and everything. So let's turn this, we're gonna change it to the uh, 3v3 program. So this should make, this should be much more difficult and see up in the difficulty i'm i'm still hitting the same way or i'm probably going to be hitting more because the green windows are that much greater and when you put it on high risk high reward you don't have to worry about it only thing you got to worry about is matching it reasonably and you should be good to go so i just missed time that one ain't cap and then i knew i did that one too but if i miss I want it to be like, yep, I missed it. And I know I missed it. That's a fast one, so I might miss. But I feel like I'm hitting more with it on high risk, high reward, and we're on a high difficulty. So if that is, if that's proof of concept, I think no more proof of concept can be had. Let's hit this last one and we out of here. Bro, why, why do I say stuff like that? You know, anytime you say I'm gonna hit this last one, no, I'm out of here, you gonna miss. But anyway, that's how you shoot with the shot stick, man. Ball is in the air, it's coming to you. You can't touch turbo at all. Hold down on the controller. When you hold, uh, hold down on the right stick, and then when he gets to the set point, that's when you start matching the hand going away. So it goes, you hold it, you hold down, 
on the right stick like that until he gets to the shot, the, the spot where he's supposed to release it. And then you go, you go up on the stick matching the hand's tempo. That's the hardest part. And like, don't get discouraged if you miss some because of bad tempo, because that's just going to happen. I promise you. But I promise you, it's much more rewarding. And you can actually use that to learn your shot cue to the point where you can just use the button from there on. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Guys, please. Guys, please.